Riot 12 rudder problem. I think I got it fixed. I think I know what the issue was. Um, not that hard of a fix. Do believe it's something that Mako should address in their next upgrades or whatever they do. But I'll show you what I've done. And I'll show you what I think part of the problem was. Like I said, I'm a short fella. This is the rudder position or the uh, steering position that I have to have. I got it basically all the way back on my track and my seat will bolt in front of it right here. Now you can stretch this thing out and bring it up here which gives this cable more of a straighter, you know, less bends and curves in it, less friction. But I'm a short fella. I'm 5'7". So I need my seat all the way up. So I can reach my pedals and be able to pedal without any struggle. Also, you come back here to the back of the kayak. I drilled new holes for my rudder lines to come out here. They used to come out up top. And I'll show you, I'll go get my wife's kayak because I haven't has I have not done it on hers yet. Um these cables, like I say, they would be snaked through here, and they're inside the kayak. They run on both sides of this opening, this access hole. There's a set of these here and here up underneath. See if we can get in there. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if you could see it or not. But anyways, there was a set of those in here, which still is. Then it would snake out to this portion here. I'll go get my wife's kayak and show you that. Hopefully it's not too dark in the garage. Okay. You see how the rudder cable comes out up top? And then it connects here. And then you see this bend in it. Well, you have a bend in your line here. You got a kind of a bend in your line over there. Then you got a nosy cat that comes in the picture that I'm allergic to, okay? Then that line right here, it snakes inside the kayak to this portion back here. Then it comes up here. It goes through another one of these, these little plastic cables or plastic hold downs inside of here, which puts another kink in it. And of course, the cable comes up through here. This hole is drilled on a, like a 45 degree angle. So there is just a lot of friction and kink points for this stainless steel cable. Now the stainless steel cable also has a plastic coating on it to help protect it. That inside another plastic coating I think just creates too much friction with all them twists and turns. Now it's not that bad. You would think it would still be able to maneuver and not be that hard to, to turn, but it is. So what I'm going to end up doing on this one is the same thing. Drill some holes here and here. Bring this line straight out and then let it connect. Which is kind of weird because it looks a little bit different the way the back is on this kayak compared to the other one. Cat done found something to play with on itself. But anyways... I say, I think that's the problem. I may be wrong. But we'll take you out here. Let's see. Still a little friction. I don't believe you want that thing sloppy, you know. You want to be able to turn it and it stay. But, I mean, this is easily turned. I don't have to put my weight into it to turn it now. You can see it rotates left, right, left, right. And then when you go back to center, like I say, that's just all in the adjustment here where you set your cables at. It did seem to work a little bit better coming straight out of here and putting the swivel point on the underside of the rudder. And I also replaced 
these bolts. I should say nuts, those lock nuts. Once you undo a lock nut once or twice, it's basically shot. Now it ain't gonna lock anymore because it's just got a nylon seat in here. Once you put them threads through that nylon seat once and then back it out, it's gonna start unscrewing on you. So anyways, come through here, these old holes here, here, here. These holes here are where these were bolted in at. Like I said, that thing come up through there and down through there. Let's see if we can show you when I need the, the sun to come out. It goes away. But this hole, like I said, it is drilled on like a 45. So that line had to come up at an angle and then turn. And then also from here, it went downwards. You know, from here and then down at an angle like so to this point. I think like I said, just too much friction. I could be wrong. I could get back out on the water and it'll lock up again. But for the moment, she seems to be turning okay. I say not that much pressure to make it turn. There's a little, but it's nothing like it was. I was having to lean into it to make it turn earlier. It would turn one direction. And then you go to the other. It was tight. All right, y'all. I'm going to seal these up with silicone. I may even make a, an actual cap that bolts in here to completely seal them up. And I'm going to have to seal this inside and out so it don't leak. Um, I say hopefully that won't be an issue. I did not like drilling new holes in this kayak. I did not want to do that. But this portion does set out of the water a decent ways. So other than splashback, that's about all the water that would get in there and from the rain and stuff like that. But I'm going to seal it up with, uh, where's that? I got some marine grade contact adhesive and seal it. I said I'm going to seal it from the outside and the inside. And that should seal it up good. Same with these holes up here. All right, y'all. Hopefully that'll fix it. Hopefully if you have any Mako riot rudder issues and steering issues, that'll help you. Um, once I get it out on the water and give it a few tests, I'll make another video. But uh, until then, I think that's a fix. I will let you know in the future. Get back at you when I get back at it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.